of CBS and Viacom. The two networks are reportedly closing in on an all stock merger deal that could come as early as today, at least according to Bloomberg. Viacom CEO Bob Bankish would allegedly head both media companies. Scott Gam is back with me. Scott, this is a merger deal we've been talking about for years now. Reportedly, uh, these two sides going late into the night on Sunday, early in the morning today. Uh, what uh, do we do? We have any more clarity on a, on a timeline and what's the sticking point? That's exactly right, Akiko. We have been watching these reports now for months. And, you know, these two companies are certainly familiar with each other. CBS and Viacom used to be one company before they split back in 2006. Now, according to reports, the valuation of Viacom from this possible merger could be around $13 billion. We'll obviously wait to see what the actual number comes in at. But as you mentioned, media reports have been suggesting that Viacom CEO Bob Backish will become CEO of the combined company if, if indeed this deal goes through. Now, we are seeing shares of Viacom and CBS down today, but also remember the broader market is down today as well, Akiko. And Scott, if this deal does go through, what would be the implications for the media industry? Well, it's a great question, and I think the thinking, at least from Viacom's point of view, is that the company would be stronger with CBS just to go up against some of the larger media conglomerates out there. I mean, look at Disney. They just acquired billions and billions of dollars worth of Fox assets as they launched their upcoming streaming service. And, you know, scale is the new important term in the media industry because scale gives you better leverage in negotiations for advertising rates and in negotiations for those transmissions fees that we know are so lucrative for the media companies out there. But they're getting harder and harder to pin down because of cord cutting out there. And we know Viacom, of course, has some iconic media assets like Nickelodeon and MTV, Akiko. Okay, no question. All the media companies trying to basically build up their ammunition, if you will, as it becomes more competitive. Thanks for that, Scott.